Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video presentation. This talk is about the medical authority of AI. The medical authority refers to the power distributed in the whole healthcare social technical context, involving all stakeholders such as traditional authorities and health technologies. We started the user medical authority perceptions of AI enabled symptom checkers in China. The authors include me, Yue Yu, Dr. Yu Ko, Dr. Xiang Hua Ding, and Dr. Xin Mingui. When people seek assessment for their symptoms, they usually ask help from doctors or ask their symptoms online. During this process, people are inclined to delegate authority to doctors and online peers. For example, previous studies have pointed out that the doctor's communication skills can influence their authority. With the advent of AI-enabled health technologies like AI-based symptom checkers, namely ARSCs in our study, new dynamics have been introduced into the existing network of medical authority. However, little attention has been paid to the authority of ARSCs and how they influence people's uh, perceptions and experiences of medical authority. Without such knowledge, it is difficult for designers and researchers to improve the future design of ARSCs. So what we did in this study is to analyze how the ARSCs impact their users' understandings and experiences for medical authority. We conducted 30 semi-structured interviews with AISC users from China. These AISCs ask symptom information from users and then provide medical suggestions and possible diagnosis. First, we found users ascribe authority to AISCs based on whether the AISCs are supported by established authorities. This quote shows the user approved the authority of AISCs since they were developed by professional companies and thus had a reliable background endorsement. User authority perception is also influenced by the data source's credibility and transparency. This quote is about how a participant assess the authority of AISCs based on the credibility of its data source. User authority perception was also developed through their interaction with these AISCs. The first quote is about how the input design influenced the participant's authority perception of the AISC. The second quote is about how the participant evaluated the AISC's authority by examining if its probing questions were comprehensive and in-depth. The medical authority is also uh, distributed over a network of medical entities. Participants ascribed medical authority not only based on their interactions with one particular AISC, but through a network of medical entities. So how did the medical authority distribute across multiple entities? There are two general patterns. The first thing is from the comparison with uh, clinical diagnostic procedures. In this quote, the user did not grant authority to AISCs because they could not do some lab tests that were necessary for clinical settings. The second is through comparisons and cross-validations among healthcare entities, such as various self-diagnostic tools, doctors, and the user self. The first quote is about how the participant cross-validated the diagnostic results from different ARSCs. The second quote is about that the user used the social doctor to explore possible uh, diagnosis after seeing a doctor. By highlighting some findings from this study, we hope to make two take-home messages from this talk. First, we emphasize that the medical authority of AI should be understood in, in terms of an ecosystem rather than a singular entity. The medical authority of AI is a relational network, including software developers, medical professionals, uh, and uh, consumers, etc. This network renders the user's decision-making process distributed and has potentials to make the AISC become a patient-centered system to supplement the clinical visits. Second, our study explored how user's AI authority perception develops in human AI interaction. We found it in not only the results, but also human AI interaction processes that matter to authority perception. That's our talk. Thank you.